We traveled the world far and wide looking for a great place to dive. No, we didn't. We're still in Florida, at the Florida Aquarium in Tampa. If we're going down, we're taking you with us. At the Florida Aquarium in Tampa, we'll flip the turtle limbs. After a mini briefing with the safety diver and the dive master, you go over all the new equipment that you're not used to using. They put on the mask for you and make sure it's secure. And then they go over exactly where the location of your weight belt is, which is part of the BC, in case you have to drop it in an emergency ascent in 13 foot of water. Okay, in the water in three, two, one, in the water. And we're entering the deep blue water. Welcome to Adventures in Diving with DJ Chazar. I'm here with the co-host, Brandon Chazar, and we're here in the Florida Aquarium in Tampa. We're swimming with the fishes today. Join us while we take a look at all the sharks and the wonderful sea life here in this one cage. That's it, I quit. I'm putting the camera down. I don't care how much you guys are paying me. I'm not working this camera anymore. I'm a shark. I'm here to swim. Nothing else. See you later. In the aquarium, with two near sharks. They like to eat a lot of dead fish from the bottom or lobsters. So you're pretty much safe as you're kneeling on the bottom. They also like to bump into the glass just to let you know that they're in the tank. And uh, the, way, the reason you guys are able to hear me today is we're on the auger mask. And it's something that the Florida Aquarium in Tampa has to offer that they allow their dive masters sometimes to educate the people that are coming in to talk to the guests in the audience viewing the shark tank. And behind me, I can see the shadow of Flip. He's the turtle that was bitten by a shark, not one of these sharks, uh, but is now a resident of the Florida Aquarium. As you can see on his right quarter, right flank area, he's a bite mark from a shark out in the open ocean. As a result of that, he has trouble with his buoyancy. They're using the poles because Brandon's been really bad and they're gonna bank him with it. Now, <clears throat> at Florida Aquarium in Tampa, the dive master and the safety diver will use these barbershop looking poles to direct traffic in the water. They're not used to beat the divers or the fish, but mainly used just to direct traffic. Right now we're just checking to make sure we have enough air. When you're underwater, you may have to communicate with your dive buddy. And if he's not wearing the auga mask and an earphone, he may not be able to hear you. So you may have to do hand signals for communication. Here, my buddy doesn't understand me after several attempts. Finally, he realizes that I'm trying to tell him that I see a shark and he should tell the camera that he sees a shark too. And as you know, the good old sand tiger swims by and lets us know that he's still in the water. This Goliath grouper is about, looks like four feet in length, about 18 inches wide or high, and maybe 100 pounds. 300, I think. 300 pounds. So it'd be good eating. That kid outside looks about 300 pounds. That'll be good eating for me. In the aquarium, since we're visitors to their home and they're allowing us to be here, um, what we're doing is by kneeling here, we're letting them know that we're just guests and that we're just hanging out. We mean no threat to them. And by staying in one spot, the fish are able to swim in their normal pattern swimming around us and we don't disrupt them. All we're doing is watching them swim and a guest in their house. And you can tell that the tiger shark's checking you out, Chuck. He's hungry. 
Now that's good eating. The Shark Encounter Program at the Florida Aquarium in Tampa is for certified divers only. However, for non-certified divers, they have a Swim with the Fishes program, which doesn't mean you're wearing concrete shoes. It just means you get to snorkel or actually use uh, equipment that allows you to be at the surface of the water and swim over the coral reef. But again, Swimming with the Fishes is not an Italian reference, so please don't call me with your hate mail. I think that's a wrap. All right. Before you go up, you have to give everyone the okay sign and let them know that you're going up. However, right before we could escape into the cage, the good old sand tiger came by to let us know he wasn't happy. Hey, you gotta gonna pay me before you leave this tank. But luckily, we could escape into the shark cage. And all I thought as I was getting in there was close that door before he bites me. Remember one thing, you can do this at the Florida Aquarium in Tampa. This is one more place we can dive indoors and inland. See you there. If we're going down, we're taking you with us. DJ had one of the face masks on that had like a, that he could talk into the camera. That um, so he was talking with Chucky the whole time and with the, the curator guy through the um, through the camera, like through the actual the face mask of the. Uh, the, the face masks of the um, uh, face masks. He was there, he had like a. <laughs> Chucky has a camera in my face, so I can't talk. But he had the mask on, talking to everybody. It was pretty neat. Like Keep the, rolling, baby. It was a, it was a full mask, so DJ was able to talk, and he had microphones in his ears and stuff. So it was pretty cool.